what's that in? Man, this topic, man, I don't know. I damn near wasn't going to do this video, but I thought of the topic while I was going through some shit with wifey. But then I thought later on, you know what I'm saying, stuff calmed down and I thought a lot about stuff. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this video because it's a perspective I wanted to um, talk about, right? Like, <clears throat> you know how you kind of like getting into it with wifey and stuff like that? You might have a back and forth, you know? Um, and you be feeling like it seems like, you know, she'd be mad as hell at you or something, right? Um, <clears throat> and it can even feel like she hates your ass, you know what I'm saying? But as a man, though, this I'm talking to you, right? As a man, um, we got to learn to be leaders, bro. You know, we got to take accountability, you know what I'm saying? And with me, it's like I can't always be trying to be right when I'm talking to my wife or when I'm going back and forth debating or whatever. Being right don't get us nowhere, but only gets us to where she secretly hates your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of trying to be right, um, proving a point, maybe I should work I should look at the thing that I would like to change whatever I'm arguing about or whatever point I'm trying to prove and ask myself how can I help that situation instead of point the finger at it you know what I'm saying and thinking that thought I thought of this while I was like sitting on the toilet and shit <laughs> that thought kind of changed my whole perspective on um you know, the arguments or debates back and forth with wifey or it's like I got to be a leader up here. Right. Um, and I can't step down to do shit down here. You know, damn, something happened with the camera. I paused it or something. But, um, you know, I got to stay up here. Cause, or another thing, this was my cutie told me a long time ago. Uh, you know, we was in the streets dealing with street women and shit like that. You gotta stay like this, right? And the women is gonna swirl all around this little you right here, this little uh, pole or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't bend or fold like that with the woman you stay like this women is going to do all type of shit because they are emotional people so you never know how she gonna feel but you have to stay like this so you could be the leader right that solid figure that they need in their life you know what i'm saying if you not being that that's probably a reason why she secretly hates you I'm not saying she don't love you you know it's just a little little things she might feel um maybe because you're not being up here at this leader level you know what i'm saying like she know you can be um and that's that's you know it's a lot of other things too that like i don't want to get too uh in the weeds with it but it's kind of like women are in in america women are indoctrinated to see men a certain way you know what i'm saying and and you know if you're not living up to certain standards it, it can make them feel a way about you and and if they love you they'll be patient until you get it together but they'll have something against you <laughs> you know what i'm saying um and this ain't all about money because the richest couples fall out and get divorced and shit like that so this ain't about money this is about something deeper, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being that motherfucker in her life, that leader. And I hope my nose ain't, I didn't see no boogers or nothing. I'm feeling kind of sick. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, this this topic is like, you know, if you if you got a wife, you already know what I'm talking about, man. I'd love to hear what you think about it. So I'll let you in a minute, or I'll let you in the comments.